Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortron Academy. My name is Harshwats and today I am going to tell you how to install core.js file in project structure for making your custom visual available in Power BI service. Now let's go forward and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. So in this video I will cover how to install core.js file in project structure and after that I will tell you how to install Power BI visual dot js file and why it is required now let's go forward and talk about what is core dot js so core dot js this command installs modular standard library for javascript it include polyfills for ecms script up to 2019 so, so before installing core dot js you should have installed the d3 dot js file in your product structure so that the core js will make up for the the thing that is remaining for command installer modular standard library for javascript because d3 makes up for the typescript and core.js will make up for the javascript now let's go forward and see how does we do that now we are in visual studio which is ide that is integrated development environment now we have to introduce the core.js file in our server which makes the custom visual in our power bi service so before going any forward you have to stop that server that will give a command for making a custom visual on your power bi service so uh, you have to go into a command prompt and you know that you have just run the server in which the custom visual is now available for it and if you go previous you will see that I here installed the d3 and uh, types in my server in my a server which creates for the custom visuals so if you want to learn about them you can go to my previous videos and see how does them they work now we have to stop our server how can we do that just click on the control and double press c so this will terminate your bad job click on y after that enter so uh, this is uh, useful in case of a windows that is control and double c if you use iux or linux you have to just click on control and c c will be pressed only once in that case in windows it will press twice now i will tell you what code you will write to install core.js file in our installer so how can we do that now you have to type npm space i space core slash js at 3.2.1 space save so then enter it will run the npm service and it will install the core.js file in your project structure so just wait for a few seconds it will work on its own now you can see the core.js file package has been installed in your server for making a custom visual now after that installing the core.js we have to install one more thing that is this power visual api which is very useful and which is very much compulsory after installing uh, the core.js like in the d3 we have to install after d3 5.0.0 is that uh, the, uh, d3 types that is the library so now in our case core.js we have to install the power bi visuals how can we do that in that case you have to write npm again space again space power bi this was uh, after that vis visual then api after that type save after that tev and after that enter so uh, why we wrote dv is is the development that we need this only in our bar chart we do not want to do that now you can see there is an error the error is here because that i have just spelled something wrong in here we have a visuals rather than visual you have to type visuals so again i will write it and 
save dev again enter so just remember that if you make a simple spelling mistake in here it will cost you a lot and you won't be able to run anything now you can see everything has been done and package has been installed in your server to make your custom pi visual available now you have done everything you have installed the code.js and after that you have done a power bi visual api now how you can check it to check that you have to now to check that we have to go into the visual studio code how you can go there in here you can go or in my case i've already opened it so i will go in my visual studio again after that just go here and refresh everything we are in our visual studio in visual studio you should go in here show all files then only you will be able to see the node module because it is not an important file but it is also compulsory in our case to know that everything has been installed properly again we will click on show all files so when you show on all files you will see a global setting local setting temp vs code so all these four is not that much compulsory and required and we have to think about this node module because this is one of the thing that you should know that your d3 and everything has been installed now you will see in here that it has been installed after that so uh, in node module you should look for the d3 first now you can see d3 has been installed and now we will look for the core.js because core.js has been installed in core.js you should always find for index.js file it is the most compulsory one to look at and in the types also when you done with the d3 you should also look for the index.d.ts file so these are the compulsory files you should look for after installing core.js power bi visual api and uh, types in a d3 so these are the all things that you should look for after being installed now your sub everything is completed now we will add in my next video we will add the shape to our custom visual so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries have been cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section and we will surely get back to you and if this video helps you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day